Greetings to all Toolboom channel viewers. Today our laboratory received the Archie Pro SC rework station. This is a soldering station for repairing large PCBs such as laptop motherboards or game console boards. The previous model of this station became very popular all over the world due to its affordable price. And now we are making a review of an advanced version and we will find out about all of the improvements. We did not unpack the product yet, so we will discover all the changes together with you. Let's start with the bigger box. The package contains, as we expected, the bottom part of the station, the preheater. It's rather heavy, a lot of metal. That's how it looks like. Well, here you may see the changes. The so-called guideway of the upper heater has a new design. The package doesn't contain too much items. However, the manufacturer supplied us with several useful things. So, this box should probably contain the thermocouple. Yes, here is a PC connection cable and the thermocouple and also a hex key for assembling the station. Here we have some additional holders and stands for PCBs. I'll unpack them later. This is a tube for mounting the upper heater. It's heavy. Let's first install this holding tube. Fasten the screws using a hex key. Now the upper heater should be mounted on the tube. And we connect it to the main unit. That's all, the station is ready for use. Main technical specifications of the station are the upper heater size. 80 on 80 mm, upper heater power 400 watt, bottom heater size 260 on 245 mm, and its power is 2 kW. Total power is 2.5 kW. I'll ask my partner Sergey to review the design peculiarities. Welcome! Hello, let's have a short look at the main design changes. The upper heater mechanics has changed. It is now less massive and moves more smoothly. It may move in all directions as before. The table design has improved. The movement is now more smooth and reliable. Standard thermocouple connector is provided. You may now use any multimeter thermocouple. The automatic circuit breakers replaced the standard power button. The station cooling has been improved as well. As the preheaters in the previous model had no drawbacks, their design remained unchanged. There is still a possibility of switching on and off the heating elements in pairs. And now, could you please tell us about the possibilities on the soldering station control? Ok, let's first switch on the station. All the controls are located on the front panel of the device. Have a look. Start button, switching on the temperature profile and starting the heating. Stop button. Cooling button. The airflow comes from here and cools the bottom part of the PCB. Light. You may additionally light the soldering area, which is very convenient. Upper cooling button removes the heat. Thermocouple connector and thermal controller that sets the operation of bottom heaters 
and the programmable thermal controller for upper heater temperature setup. Have a look at the bottom heater controller. It is rather simple, has two displays. The upper one shows current temperature and the lower one shows the preset temperature. To change the preset temperature, you should press the set button, the indicators will start blinking. The up and down buttons are used to change the value and the left arrow to change the position. For example, let's set 110 degrees. In fact, the controller will increase the heater's temperature to 110 degrees and this temperature will be maintained with a certain accuracy. Let's switch on the heating. And now let's talk about the programmable controller of the upper heater. This controller has 10 thermal profiles that you may edit and preview. Thermal profile is dependence of the temperature on the time. It may be different simple, complex, or having several steps. While working with the PCBs, the most popular way is a preheating to certain temperature, temperature holding, further heating to some higher temperature, holding again, and reaching with such steps the solder melting temperature, more than 220 degrees. You may program all this, not only the temperature, but also the time intervals for both heating and holding the temperature in operating areas. The PTN button switches between thermal profiles, for example, thermal profile 8. To view or change the parameters, press the PROG button. So, R1 is a coefficient setting the temperature increase ratio. In our case, it is 1. L1 is a final temperature on the step 1. D1 is a holding time for the temperature 60 seconds. Similarly, you have several steps. Here you have a temperature of 70 degrees with 50 seconds holding time. R4. Rise coefficient is also 1 and the temperature is 225 degrees. I need a higher temperature, say 235 degrees. Set and hold time for this temperature 60 seconds. In this case, that should be enough. And to finish programming. These thermal profiles may be created or edited using a PC and uploaded or downloaded into a controller. But it is very convenient for me to work with this controller directly. It's visually convenient and simple. One more thing. On every step you may also see a current temperature and a preset temperature. Before installing a PCB, let's note several peculiarities of the holding table. First, package contents include holders like this. They prevent the PCB from bending deflection. Moreover, for soldering non-rectangular shaped PCBs, but some complex shaped ones, such as laptop motherboards, there are additional holders. They may be correspondingly mounted, moved, like I'm showing now. Our PCB is rectangular shaped, so we won't need them. I have previously adjusted the holders in certain positions to fit our PCB. Now we fix the position. And the PCB is ready for desoldering. We use a reflective tape to protect an adjacent component. Especially, it is important for plastic components. The tape will reflect unwanted heat. And finally, let's fix the thermocouple in a soldering area for temperature monitoring.
ready. Now we set the upper heater directly above the PCB, lower it to leave about 2 cm space and start the process. It may be started either pressing the run button on the controller or using a large green button on the front panel. I prefer this one. The current and the preset temperatures may be observed on the controller screen as well as a desoldering stage. Now is the first stage. The temperature reaches the preset value. You may also observe the temperature rise of the bottom heater. As we may see, we approach the completion of the soldering process. We remove the chip and enable cooling. As a result, we may note, the upgraded version of Echi Pro SC is a reliable station with easy control, high quality elements and with the improved features of the previous model. Convenient table, secure fixation, use of traditional thermocouple, convenient upper heater holder. We highly recommend buying it.